This is the foil drive assist. Today we're going to share some of the many firsts this product allowed us to experience on our link. The foil drive assist consists of a small motor and battery that turns a classic foil into something so much more. Today riders use this to assist their paddle entry onto an ocean wave, but we wondered what this product could do for us on the lake. We want to thank Paul and Ben at Foil Drive. They sent us this product about six weeks ago to try. We weren't paid to make this video or paid to promote this product, but we wanted to share our experience with you. The foil drive assist setup begins by placing a pod on your mast. The pods are designed to fit your mast and there's a long and growing list of compatible masts. We tried a number of different locations depending on what we were trying to do. The waterproof container houses the receiver, speed controller, and the battery. Paul was kind enough to include a very long power cord to allow us to place this anywhere. We also added a foam cover so my kids wouldn't hurt themselves during a fall. We show many unintended uses of this product. Some obvious, like the attachment of the battery to my chest. Please don't put this container against your body and tether yourself to the board via the power cord. And some less obvious, there's an active propeller, battery near the water, and the foil itself, all of which are dangerous, so please be safe out there. We were also very demanding on this battery, using it at nearly full power during the entire state of charge range. This is not how the product was intended to be used. The foil drive assist is paired with an existing foil and board. The right foil needs to have great low speed lift, but also excellent lift to drag performance. We've tried more than 40 foils and our current favorite is the Axis 1150. The right board needs to minimize hull drag. We found a board that's short enough to allow us to pump, yet high enough volume to let us plane early and quickly. So we selected the Lahoma 110 liter inflatable board. Most foil drive assist users require a paddle to generate enough water speed to reach a wave. Neither of us paddle foil, so we had really hoped this could fly like an e-foil. My seven-year-old proved its e-foil prowess and he could fly with ease. He absolutely fell in love with the foil drive assist and even used it to start to learn how to pump. But what about the rest of us? Justin and I are about 190 pounds. The foil drive was not designed to be used as an e-foil and they state it clearly on their website. As it turns out, it was possible, but we needed calm water, a minimal headwind, and full trigger with more than 50% battery charge. When flying, we only needed 70-80% to 80 trigger. One of our early lessons was the importance of a good tape job. The smallest imperfection from the tape, or any exposed power cord, was an enormous drag penalty, and that became the difference between using it like an e-foil and not being able to fly at all. Once we encountered a headwind or the battery fell below 50%, we required our own version of a paddle start. Foil Drive took the best of classic foiling and combined it with the best of e-foiling to give the rider the control and fluidity of classic foiling combined with the range and ease of e-foiling. We didn't break any speed records, but the feeling of flying at slow speeds is my favorite and a surreal experience. E-foiling is obviously super cool, but we were as interested in its hybrid foil capabilities. We first tried to pump the foil with the prop underwater, where it would create a lot of extra drag. We pumped harder to overcome it, and we were able to pump for about 40 seconds. This was a lot more than I expected. We then tried to pump with the prop out of the water. We then wondered if we could transition from pumping to cruising by dropping the prop into the water and activating the trigger. With practice, timing the re-entry of the prop with the trigger, this became quite easy to do. Once we figured this out, we started seeking out and surfing the wakes on the lake, and it worked beautifully. We found that the wake had plenty of push, even with the foil drive under the water. It was amazing to launch from our dock, fly to distant boats, and surf their wakes. Our fun wasn't over yet. We wanted to do everything we'd done already, but with a tiny 10-liter board. I love these little boards because it makes foiling feel as fluid as being on a skateboard. We knew there wasn't enough thrust to get a little board like this going, so with the help of my bungee we launched the foil with the battery between our feet and off we went. This was probably the most fun I've had on a foil in a very long time. Justin then suggested I put the controller in cruise control and try to pump the length of the lake, augmenting the thrust needed to pump with the foil drive assist. So we did something that we do not recommend you do. We attached the battery to my chest and began our long journey to the end of our lake. 
We launched, and by the time we reached the north end of our lake about three miles away, the dock in front of my house was a distant memory, and we couldn't believe what we had done. By combining the foil drive with our existing equipment, we were able to e-foil, pump for a very long time, and thieve wakes further from my house than I could ever reach before. We did not use the product as it was intended, so there's no saying how long it will remain working in this capacity. When we first met Paul and Ben, we found a couple of guys pushing the boundaries of what's possible, with the enthusiasm to learn about what we're doing, and the interest to work with us to figure it out. They're now embarking on a new challenge. They want to create a foil drive that works better for the things we like to do on the lake. I can't tell you how excited we are to see what they have up their sleeves and how excited we are to share our experience with you as soon as it arrives. If you're on a lake seeking to e-foil and pump long distances, we want to say place your order today, but instead we'd encourage you to be patient. If it's any better than what we've just experienced, we're certain this will be a game changer for lake hydrofoiling.